Well, I'm real proud of the fact that I was able to do it and that it gave me uh, good opportunities for employment and that even after, it gave me courage to do all sorts of things that women normally don't do. Today we have with us one of the first two women who received an engineering degree from UConn. Please join us in recognizing Tina Lewis's courage and determination. I had a lot of interests growing up. I loved music, architecture, I loved art. I also loved physics and math. And I wanted to make sure that when I got out of school that I would be able to get a good paying job. Uh, electrical engineering seemed a natural. The first time as a freshman I went in with my list of books, I handed the list to the woman and she looked at the list and she looked at me and she looked down again and finally she said, these are boys books, dearie. <laughs> and so I smiled and I said, no, no, I said, they're engineering books, they're not boys books. My brother actually graduated from UConn three years before I did, and he studied civil engineering. As it turned out, it was just coincidence. I was between my sophomore and junior year that I met my husband. I fell madly in love with him, and as it turned out, he was an electrical engineer and had received his degree from Bucknell. The instructors were nice to me. Everyone was, was really fair. Uh, I think the only problem I had was that the fellows that were my classmates weren't used to having a woman around. But now, you know, years later, many of my classmates have become very, very good friends. Going into engineering is, is just the way to do it. It just teaches you not only engineering, but it then encourages you to do all the other things that you wouldn't normally as a female not do because you don't feel there's any borders that you can't cross. You feel you can just do anything you would like to do.